So let me paint the picture. You are 56 years old. You go to bed around 11 p.m. most nights, but sometimes at midnight, sometimes at 2 a.m. on weekends. You wake up at 6.30 for work. Some nights you sleep straight through, but often you're up once or twice for the bathroom, or you just wake up randomly. And your total sleep might be seven hours, and that seems totally adequate, right? But the problem with this pattern is that your circadian system doesn't really care about totals. It cares about timing and consolidation. If your mid-rest phase should be around 3 a.m., but you're waking up at, let's say, 2.30 and 4 a.m., you are disrupting the exact window when lymphatic clearance peaks. And for APOE4 carriers specifically, a 2024 study found that APOE4 plus sleep fragmentation equals 5.6-fold increased dementia risk over six years. So it's not 1.5-fold like non-carriers, it's 5.6-fold, that's insane. So the synergy between APOE4 and poor sleep consolidation is massive.